If I die today, say if I die today, what do I have to show for? And that's when I had my aha moment. I feel like I'm a motivational speaker where I should be like. <laughs> so that's when I had my aha moment, right? Mm -hmm. And then it kicked into me because I was never taught about credit. Mm -hmm. My credit was getting all messed up because I was like, you know what? It get paid, wouldn't get paid. They're not gonna lock me up. Why should I pay it, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So I do this, do that, and then all of a sudden it hit me. If I die today, what do I have to show for? So what happened was I started taking trips once a month or every other month, I started taking trips. I'll go down south. You know, something nice, good drive away. Then when times got a little bit different, then I would take the, I'd get the boys and we'll go to the Dales. That's when I found out about cheaptickets.com. That's when computers came out then, all right? So then now I, I didn't care anymore because I said, if I die today, what do I have to show for it? I'm not happy. If I, why go, I said, why live hell and go to hell? Right? right? Why live in hell and go to hell? Mm -hmm. Right? Because if I'm miserable all the days, I'm cursing my own life every day. Right. I already, I already, I'm already going to hell. I curse myself. I told myself I'm going to hell. If I die today, I'm going to hell because. Mm -hmm. Right? I'm cursing myself to die. Mm -hmm. You remember? Uh, uh, Job, his wife said, curse yourself and die because all the hell is breaking loose in your life. Mm -hmm. But Joseph, but Jake, but Job, had a relationship with God. He knew how to hear and listen to God, so no matter what he went through, he knew what to do. No matter, say that, no matter what you go through, you'll know what to do. Why? Because if I begin to hear and listen to God and the people around me, I begin to know who I need to get out of my life. You can hear a snake speak if you listen and pay attention to them. When I mean a snake, I mean a human person. Okay? You can't, you can't understand this. Like when you walk into a forest, the first thing you want to make sure you're doing is hearing and listening. Mm -hmm. You want to hear and listen for anything so that you know if I need to run, stump, or whatever. Mm -hmm. How do I react? I don't know how to react until I see what it is because my ears can play tricks on me. So anyway, let's, let's, let's try to wrap this up real quick. Okay? So it says, God, the, the word, and they say transform. What does that word transform mean? What's the first thing that comes out of your mind? Not the transformers. I knew you were going to say that. <laughs> uh, like something that's um, changing. Okay, yeah. Changing. That, okay, say if you was of the world. You mm -hmm. were doing everything that was of the world. The uh -huh. burning, the drinking, the drugs, uh -huh. all that. Then you just got a, a reality that you said, I'm tired of this. I'm tired of being high. I'm tired of being that's drunk. Okay. Um, you changed, so you gave it to the Lord. And so the Lord trans slowly no. transformed you. You got to give it to yourself before you give it to God. Did that hurt somebody? Mm -mm. You got to give it to yourself first before you give it to God. Because what's the purpose of giving it to God if I'm not going to keep it to God? Let God take it. That's true. I have to first make up in my mind. We're back at the beginning of hearing and listening. Mm -hmm. We're at the process that I got to change my life. I'm going to live as of today and not tomorrow. Right. I don't care what the bills or anything in my account dictates to me. I'm traveling. Mm -hmm. I don't care what life says to me. I'm doing this. Right. Okay, we have to understand the importance of our spouses and the importance of the people that are in our circle so that we can be able to again live life. Mm -hmm. If I die today, I'm making an impact so when my, I die, my kids can say, you know what, my parents taught me this. When I was little, my parents had an aha moment and when they had that aha moment, we started, we started, we, we, we left the house. And we left our apartment, we wound up in the house. We left this and next year, you know, we got all this property and all our friends are jealous. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. So, we look at this transformation, this change. What is your aha moment? How long are you going to constantly stay where you at? So we look at this word change. Now, let me tell you something. What's the difference between change and transformation? Because when you look up the word transformation, it's actually where we get the word metamorphosis from. Mm -hmm. Metamorphosis is, is what happens with a uh, butterfly when it turns from a um, caterpillar to a butterfly. Right. In, the, in that cocoon is a metamorphosis that takes place. There's a shifting, transfiguration. There are things that take place inside of that cocoon that causes that butterfly to be who it is. Right. What is taking place while you're in your cocoon that is changing your life so that you can become who you want to be? Mm -hmm. Because to say that I'm going to give it to God and... That, that, stop. Let's don't say that no more. Because mm -hmm. you're not giving it to God. Because if you give it to God, why are you still living the way you're living? Mm -hmm. Right? Right, you're right. 
-hmm. I can't give anything to God until I first make up in my mind that I am focused. Water can't flow without it being consistent. Mm -hmm. All it is is stationary. But the moment it can flow, it begins to go to where it goes. When I pour water on the, on the seed in the ground, it's a constant flow that takes place as I begin to nourish and take care of that plant daily. That water does what it's supposed to do, and that constant discipline, that constant uh, flow, that constant pressure, that constant everything that takes place causes that seed to fruition and become what it is, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so look at this word. What's the difference between transformation and change? Because a lot of people say transformation was change, but what if I told you those two are just two different words? Mm -hmm. 